Anyone who has seen the popular reality show Mountain Men has definitely been captivated by the mysterious Tom Orr. An intriguing figure in the world of notoriety, Tom Orr is known for his tough lifestyle and extraordinary survival skills. Tom Orr is a legendary mountain man whose tenacity, ingenuity, and fearlessness have served as an inspiration to countless people. Now is your chance to dive headfirst into his fascinating world. Buckle up and get ready to explore heartbreaking tragedy in the captivating world of Tom Orr, the iconic mountain man who has inspired countless individuals with his resilience, resourcefulness, and unwavering spirit of adventure. Tom, who grew up in the country outside of Rockford, Illinois, says he was prepared for a tough lifestyle. He and his older brother had an instinctive love for the outdoors. They spent their childhood playing outside as much as possible and trick riding. Tom Orr was born in 1943 in Illinois, USA. The only member of his family known to the public is his father, Cheek Orr, who appeared in Wild West performances in the United States between 1870 and 1920. Around the 1970s, Tom Orr immersed himself in modern life and moved to Montana's Yak Valley with his wife, Nancy Orr. Before settling in the Montana mountains, Tom camped out with several buddies in Troy and Montana while participating in rodeo as a combo rider. He began combining riding in his 20s and did so for several years before retiring owing to health issues. Reuter then took his wife to one of Montana's most remote areas, essentially the woods. They built a cabin and settled approximately 80 kilometers from the nearest grocery shop. Of course, they do not have an immediate need for food because they hunt, gather, and prepare their own food every day. Tom and his wife Nancy make a variety of shoes and clothes from tanned deerskin, including moccasins, coats, shirts, and trousers. They offer their homemade items anytime they are in town. They also receive countless orders for things that they rarely fulfill. Despite having no formal training, Tom Orr is regarded as one of the most respected hide tanners in the United States. Orr began his profession as a rodeo cowboy when he was on the verge of entering his 20s. Years have passed since he began comboing. On the other hand, he decided to leave the profession because of his health condition. Following his time spent on the rodeo circuit, he began working as a tanner without first completing the necessary training or education. He traveled to a distant section of Montana with his wife and began his job as a cowboy. Additionally, he moved there. They abandoned the hectic lifestyle of the contemporary world and began a new life in the woods, where they were surrounded by tranquility. Tanned deer hides were used to create a variety of garments, including moccasins, jackets, shirts, and pants and shoes, which Tom and his wife began producing. The products are sold in the city, and they have also gotten a significant number of requests for the products. The producers of the show spotted him after he had lived in the mountains for 30 years, and as a result, he was given the opportunity to make an appearance in the show Mountain Men. It is estimated that Tom Orr has a net worth of roughly $400,000 from his successful career as a rodeo cowboy to his current position as a television personality. His rodeo career, which included eight performances at the International Finals Rodeo, took a diversion because of health concerns, which prompted him to become a self-taught tanner. His rodeo career includes eight appearances at the championship event. Over the course of 30 years, Tom crafted tanned deer skins into a variety of garments, including coats, moccasins, blouses, and slacks. Tom's debut in the renowned History Channel series Mountain Men in which he appeared look like other cast members, was the catalyst for his rise to notoriety. In 2022, he once again captivated viewers with his performance in the television series Into the Wild Frontier. Followers from all over the world continue to be inspired by Tom Orr's wide-ranging and fascinating journey, which displays a life that is abundant in experiences, persistence, and the spirit of adventure. Tom Orr was previously married to Janice Frazier, though the exact date when the couple got together is unknown. Tom's earlier marriage brought him two children. He lived in a house in the Yak River Valley. Tom and Nancy were married to Kelly and Chad, with Kelly's tragic passing in 2015, 
marking a period of profound sorrow for the family. It was a heartbreaking tragedy for Tom. The loss of a child is an unimaginable grief, and for Tom, navigating this pain while living in the public eye added a complex layer to his and his family's healing process. Chad, Tom's son, embodies the spirit of resilience and continuation of the family lineage. Residing in Florida, Chad has carved out his own niche, operating a horse training center with his wife, Kim Burnett. This move not only shows the diverse interests and talents within the Orr family, but also signifies a branching out from the rugged wilderness to the equine fields of Ocala, aptly known as the horse capital of the world. The narrative of Tom's life on Mountain Men culminated in episodes that were as poignant as they were celebratory. In Tom's big day, viewers were treated to the celebration of Tom's birthday, a moment that highlighted his significance within the show and his reluctance to step away from a life that has brought him not just fame, but a deep sense of fulfillment. However, his absence in subsequent episodes fueled speculation about his future on the show. This uncertainty, along with the family's individual struggles, emphasizes how complicated life is. He's one of the many characters Tom has encountered in this film, and his original story, and those of his children, is one of the most important memories of his life. The story of Tom's return has been devoted to his children and to them who were with him. Tom's fortuitous family and their love for him has helped him continue to make the series wherein his great friends and family are now the key to their retirement. The story of his death is a testament to the strength of the family and to its many healings. The bright elements of Tom's life, although in the background of the series, still remain in the best interest of viewers. In a lot of cases, Tom's pipeline of personal relationships with his children was the basis of what made the show possible. In the following years, the film continues to inspire. His story is a testament to the strength found in family and the bittersweet journey of life that has led us to the heart of the story. More than half a century has passed since Orr and Nancy tied the knot. In addition, they have a son named Chad who has appeared on the show Mountain Men on multiple occasions. However, Orr's wife only frequently makes an appearance in public. They do not have as much exposure to the spotlight as Tom has. Tom is content and content with his married life with Nancy. He is happy and satisfied. The first time they met was when Tom was driving a Bronco, and ever since then. Over the course of a variety of life challenges, they remained together and provided support to one another. There are more similarities between them than you might imagine, in addition to the fact that they have been married for a given period of time. Additionally, Tom and his wife Nancy were married for more than 50 years, and during that time they lived in Montana without access to electricity or water for more than 17 years. Additionally, they share a great deal of similarities with one another. They are both huge fans of the outdoors. However, it is important to remember that the two individuals enjoy participating in the preservation of Mother Nature. It was for this reason that they decided to construct a home in the mountain not far from the lake. Nancy, who is married to Tom, shares Tom's appreciation for the breathtaking mountain landscape and natural beauty that she encounters on a daily basis. Both water and power were essential to the couple's survival. To this day, they are able to escape by utilizing everything that nature has to give, as well as their unique abilities to survive. A grocery store is around 30 kilometers away from where they live. When one considers all of these factors, one can't help but wonder what type of life they would have led. As stated earlier, Tom began his professional life by working on the rodeo circuit. However, the star finally left the rodeo circuit because it had a negative impact on his health and caused injury to his legs. Following that, Tom began his career as a tanning technician. Surprisingly, he did not acquire any training or instruction from anyone other than himself. A self-taught tanner, he is today considered to be among the most reputable in the United States. In a similar vein, his career shifted when Tom started appearing in the Mountain Men series that was produced by History. Together with Eustace Conway and Morgan Beasley, he made an appearance there. 
True American Originals are the subjects of this series, which follows the day-to-day -day lives of people who either choose to live off the grid or choose to live without any technological or materialistic sophistication. The first episode of the series aired on May 31, 2012. There was a show called The Mountain Men that showed the day-to-day -day lives of people who live in isolated places where they are exposed to the risk of being attacked by deadly animals and extreme weather conditions. In the third episode of the seventh season of Mountain Men, Mary Hawk gives birth to a daughter who is now known as Maddie Hawk. As a further point of interest, while they were working on the muskrat, Tom Orr instructed his pupil Sean McAfee in the art of trapping. In addition, the celebrity is certain that Sean possesses the necessary talents and is of the opinion that Sean will soon be recognized as a muskrat farmer. On another occasion, when they went to the muskrat trap, they were unable to locate any wolf footprints by any means. Because of this, Tom suggested that traps be constructed in order to exercise control over the expanding wolf population, which would be a risk to both humans and their cattle. The 70-something-year-old actor has reportedly made the decision to hang up his boots and quit after years of participating in the show that began in 2012. This information comes from a report that was published by Distractify. Following a period of time spent in the remote Yak River Valley of Montana, Tom Orr and his wife Nancy have relocated to Florida and are now establishing themselves there. The actor who had previously been a part of the Mountain Men group made the decision to leave the show because, as he grew older, he found it increasingly difficult to deal with the difficulties that he encountered in the remote location close to the border with Idaho. During an interview with Allegheny Mountain Radio, Tom voiced his dissatisfaction with the lack of privacy that has arisen as a result of the growing popularity of mountain men. In addition, he mentioned that he and his wife reside in the heart of the Kootenai National Forest, which is around 15 miles east of the Idaho Panhandle and approximately four miles away from the border with British Columbia. Tom continued by saying that he and his wife Nancy had approximately 300 individuals come to their house over the summer of the previous year to take pictures and shake their hands. The mountaineer, who was able to survive the harsh environment of Yak River by collecting his own meat, has lived a life that is, to put it mildly, exciting. He rode horses for 25 years and bulls for 18 years during his rodeo career, which spanned half of his life. At the time of his relocation to Montana, he began engaging in the pastime of brain tanning, which is a labor-intensive procedure that involves the use of animal brains to tan skins. While discussing his way of life, Tom Ors disclosed that he is aware that his way of life is not suitable for everyone and that he believes he was born between 150 and 200 years beyond his actual age. In addition to that, he discussed how he has always been interested in history in the past and how he has experienced all of these things in a contemporary manner. There have been just a few instances in which Tom's brother Jack has made an appearance on Mountain Men, and when he does, it is very evident that he is significantly more camera shy than his brother. Jack is Tom's older brother, but other than that, there is not a lot of information available about him. One of the concepts that underpins Mountain Men is the notion that the individuals on the show inhabit a rather secluded lifestyle and do not engage with the outside world very much when the cameras are not running. Therefore, it is not surprising that Jack would be regarded as a bit of a mystery. Jack has quickly become popular among viewers, and he has now made appearances in more than 20 episodes of the show despite the fact that he is not even close to being as regular as Tom. There are some individuals who have a great deal of admiration for his personality, while there are other followers who believe that both Jack and Tom have the ability to teach a great deal of important lessons to tomorrow's youth. Although the Orr brothers may not enjoy being in the spotlight, they nonetheless have a significant number of followers. It turns out that a significant number of those followers are interested in purchasing some of the handiwork that Tom and Jack create. Thankfully, Tom, Jack, and Tom's wife all sell the goods that they manufacture through a Willow Bend trading post. 
This post has a Facebook page where they publish many of the items that they have available for purchase. Typically, these items consist of a combination of handcrafted knives and sheaths, and it appears that the items sell rather quickly when they are put on the website. The things are frequently purchased by fans because they are such huge fans of Tom and Jack, and they are aware, based on their familiarity with the show, that the items they purchase will be of a fairly high quality. It is also a good idea to visit the Facebook page for any new information regarding the activities that Tom, Jack, and the rest of the Orr family are participating in. A life like Tom Orr's is one most people can only dream about. Time, though, is a truth that even the most immortal souls must confront. Tom seems to have a deep appreciation for the changing of the seasons and the importance of change as he mulls over retirement and the future. Since leaving behind a prosperous rodeo profession for a life in nature, Tom has experienced a wide range of exciting adventures. He embodies his profound passion for a simpler, more connected way of life by admitting that he was born 150 to 200 years too late. The practicality of maintaining their current lifestyle is being questioned, though, due to their advanced years and the increasing importance of health concerns. Tom reveals a man with a mix of stoicism and humor in his reflections about finding himself stretched out lifeless over the fleshing block. Recognizing their own mortality and the limitations of endurance is a sober assessment of their predicament, not a sign of giving up. The idea of moving to Florida, where they might live in a more relaxed setting while still being close to nature, is a middle ground between giving up their freedom and compromising on their capacity to survive. The passage of time and Tom's contemplation of retirement couldn't be more dissimilar. Tom views retirement not as a time to give up, but as an opportunity to embrace the changes that are bound to happen in life. It shows how strong he and Nancy are and how they will handle whatever the future brings.